Okay, so let's solve this problem. The integral of cosine to the power 5, 2x, times sine to the power 2, 2x, dx. So in finding the integral of sine and cosine, so always work on a function with add exponent. Now since on this given, the exponent of cosine is 5, so we're going to work on this function. So just bring down this integral of sine squared 2x. Then for cosine to the power 5 2x, we need to extract 1. So this becomes cosine to the power 4 2x times cosine 2x dx. Then continue working on this function. So we have the integral of sine squared 2x. Since we can rewrite this one as cosine to the power 2 2x to the power 2. Then bring down this cosine 2x dx. And we have this identity that cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So therefore, uh, this cosine squared 2x is equal to 1 minus sine squared 2x then to the power 2 times cosine 2x dx. Then expand this equation. So we're going to use this SMS method. So we have the square of the first term, so the square of 1, that's 1. Then multiplication, so 2 times negative sine squared 2x times 1, it's negative 2 sine squared 2x. Then the square of the last term, so the square of sine squared 2x, that's sine to the power 4, 2x. Then bring down this cosine 2x dx. Then distribute this sine squared 2x to every term. That's sine squared 2x. That's negative 2 sine to the power 4 2x. So just add the exponent. Then plus sine to the power 6 2x. Then we have cosine 2x dx. Then from this given, so we need to integrate every term. So the integral of sine squared 2x times this cosine 2x dx, then minus 2, so you need to put the constant outside. So minus 2 times the integral of sine to the power 4 2x times cosine 2x dx, and then plus the integral of sine to the power 6 2x times this cosine 2x dx. Then using the substitution method, so let u equals to sine 2x, then the derivative of u or the derivative of sine is cosine 2x times the derivative of 2x, that's 2. So du now is equal to 2 cosine 2x dx, but in our equation, we have this cosine 2x dx. So therefore, divide both sides by 2, cancel, so du over 2 is equal to cosine 2x dx. Then substitute now this u and du over 2. Since in our first term, we have the integral of sine squared. Since the exponent of uh, sine is 2, so therefore, that's the integral of u to the power 2 times this cosine 2x dx is equal to du over 2, so times du over 2. Then minus 2 times the integral of u to the power 4, because the exponent of sine is 4, times this cosine 2x dx, that's du over 2. Plus the integral of u to the power 6, because the exponent of sine is 6, times du over 2. Then simplify this equation. So put this denominator outside. So that becomes 1 half times the integral of u squared du. Then this uh, denominator outside. So that's negative 2 over 2 times the integral of u to the power 4 du. And it's uh, 1 half 
times the integral of u to the power 6 du. Now, since the integral of u to the power n du is equal to u to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1, so therefore, this u to the power 2, so plus 1 for the exponent, that's u to the power 3 over 3. Then this negative 2 over 2, that's equal to negative 1. Then the integral of u to the power 4, so plus 1 for the exponent, that's u to the power 5 over 5, plus 1 half. Then the integral of u to the power 6, so plus 1 for the exponent, that's u to the power 7 over 7, then plus c. Then simplify, so we have this uh, 2 times 3, that's 1 over 6. Now, since u is equal to sine 2x, so therefore, that's sine to the power 3, 2x. Then this one, negative 1 over 5, sine to the power 5, 2x. And this 2 times 7, that's 1 over 14, times sine to the power 7, 2x, plus c. So this is now the answer.